Okay, good morning everyone. Um, I just had a very nice sleep, longer sleep than yesterday, unfortunately. Even though I said I'd probably get up earlier, I just couldn't sleep last night, so I thought I should go get some rest. Um, so it's about 11.30, and I'm gonna head over to the Contemporary for lunch at Chef Mickey's. Um, go have lunch with Mickey Mouse. I'd also like to mention that it's currently 9 degrees Celsius here in Florida um, and to put that in some perspective the coldest it gets in Sydney is around about 12-14 degrees so it's a little bit colder than what I'm used to and I'm wearing shorts yeah smart one smart one David smart one very smart one and I'm back in the Magic Kingdom walking along this path to the Contemporary, right underneath the monorail. Kinda wish I was in there today, but kinda glad I'm not, because A, it's freezing, and B, it's packed in there. Because it's the only summer day this weekend. I would imagine everyone's gone into the park, the biggest park, so I, yeah, I'm glad I, I, I didn't end up going. Uh, just had brunch at Chef Mickey's. Have to say that was one of the best buffets I've ever had, and the characters were absolutely entertaining. Um, I got to see all five within the first like 10 minutes I was there, um, as my waiter was very good, or waitress was very good. She brought them all over for me to say hi. Um, I love watching the characters interact with kids and whatnot. It's so entertaining. at the board world, not yet anyway. Um, the first bus to arrive was to the beach and yacht club, uh, which I thought was a little bit a bit quicker and closer to the boardwalk. So we're in, still in the same area, like they're still on the Epcot area, that little lake area. Um, it's just on the opposite side of the lake. look at the beach and the yacht club like they're beautiful resorts but they're not my favorite they're kind of just a little bit bland for my liking they're not really don't really have that magic for me um, unfortunately but I think the boardwalk will have that magic since it's a little bit more interesting in terms of its architecture and its its design
cushion. Why did they think it was a good idea to put cushions on the roof? So, good evening everyone. Um, welcome back to my room. Um, where did I leave you last? I left you at the boardwalk. No, dolphin. Swan and dolphin. Um, the resort was meh. Had those weird cushiony things at the top. Wasn't quite fond of that. And then now, I walked back to the boardwalk and then walked all the way down to Hollywood Studios. Caught the bus from Hollywood Studios back to my resort because that was probably the quickest option available to me. And I've just sat here two hours, I talked to my parents, um, unwrapped some goodies that I had shipped back to my resort from a few of the parks, um, got undressed, and now I am about to go out to um, the Polynesian Resort to grab a drink at Trader Sam's and enjoy the atmosphere over there, because apparently it's one of a, a must-do. Um, so. We'll see how it goes, and then at about 9-ish I'll head over to the Contemporary for dinner at um, the Californian Grill, just in time for the 10pm fireworks from the Magic Kingdom. So tonight should be a really really good night if all things go to plan, um, so let's go! That was Trader Sam's. Um, I had the, the Pearl and I had the Krakatoa Punch. Both were really, really, really tasty. Very sweet. I love sweet drinks. Very, very tasty. The experience was mind blowing. I wish there was more bars like that. And the sort of story that they tell and how they introduce all the drinks and whatnot was, was very interesting. Good experience. So at the Contemporary, just got off the monorail, about to head to check in for dinner. I'm very excited. I've been looking forward to this one for quite a while, so let's do it. Okay, 
So I'm finished with dinner and that marks the end of an amazing evening, evening of storytelling over at Trader Sam's, drinking over at Trader Sam's, coming over here for a beautiful, beautiful dinner on top of the world, on top of Walt Disney World, watching the Wishes fireworks from Cinderella Castle, which is just behind me, over there. See that white dot? That's Cinderella Castle. Now, thank you for joining me on this journey. I think I'm gonna leave it here. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you wanna see more of my trip, um, subscribe down below. And I hope you enjoyed day eight of my Walt Disney World adventure. See you tomorrow morning. Bye. Bye.